Hey Steve, uh, Travis here from Pegasus Online. Uh, today I'm going to go over the Dabin Depot V1 web comps. Uh, a couple things to go over before we dive in. Uh, first, we're using a Latin filler text throughout the site. Uh, that's what all this is. Uh, next, we're using uh, images with uh, watermarks. Uh, they might be a little fuzzy too. Uh, uh, and and yeah, so I'll, I'll cover the images here in a second. Uh, they're all just placeholders. That's the way to think of it. Um, that's that's how all this should work. Uh, uh, the figuring out what to show here, uh, the images, uh, it, it was a little tricky. So uh, the designer Jacqueline and myself, we went to uh, almost every dispensary website we could find uh, or any uh, you know, marijuana uh, company. And we looked at, at the different companies and how they treated images and, and you know, avoiding the whole marijuana uh, uh, thing. So uh, what we found was, oddly enough, for whatever reason, and I don't know if this goes back to the coffee shops in, in uh, uh, the Netherlands, uh, uh, but they have a lot of people drinking coffee. So I think that's why Jacqueline chose this image uh, for the front. Obviously, this is just a placeholder. Um, the other images are, are, I kind of showed her what the equipment looks like. Um, but obviously we can't, we don't have access to that equipment, uh, on, uh, Adobe stock, uh, meaning we can't really pay for it and have the rights to it and use it, uh, uh, for that, that image area. So what we're going to need, I guess, is, is images of, uh, the equipment. Um, and if they're a reseller, chances are the manufacturer might have professional images. Uh, if they reach out to that manufacturer, we might be able to get some of those images and, and be able to use them in the site. Uh, there are some things uh, I'd, I'd like to add, which are some textures and things like that. Uh, this yellow here in the background, I feel like it could really use a nice texture in the background. Um, and if we get some photos of the actual machinery that they're going to be using, I can uh, uh, kind of mute that image and place it back there as a subtle texture. So uh, that's the thing there. But um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let me start up here at the top, uh, and then we'll uh, just kind of go through uh, everything. So uh, first here you can see the logo. Uh, it's black and yellow. So those are the uh, colors, obviously, we're using throughout the site. So here you have the black navigation bar with the yellow uh, uh, highlighted uh, uh, current tab uh, open uh, button. Uh, below that, we have this subtly transparent uh, background. We can make this more transparent or less transparent. Uh, here we have the call today with a phone number, and then below that, a call to action. This uh, call to action is an anything button, uh, meaning you can have any type of text there and uh, have it go anywhere in the site or even outside of the site if, if you want. Um, uh, a lot of people like to use this as a directions button or something like that. Uh, you do even have the option to add icons in there because we use a, a library called Fun Awesome. You can uh, just plug those icons directly into it. Uh, below that, we get into the slider. Uh, uh, the, uh, the equipment we were looking at on a bunch of different sites, they, they seem to have a bunch of different equipment uh, uh, to, you know, to create wax or shatter. Uh, so what we were thinking was a, a slider might be the best approach uh, to kind of cover the different types of equipment, different things that they're going to, you know, be offering and, and sharing. Uh, here you can see the navigation on the other side. We have the two title system here, and then we have a call to action, and then, of course, more navigation at the bottom. Going on to the next section, here we have uh, our top content area. This area is, uh, uh, I think it can be, be reduced down to two sections, and it can be increased up to, I think, four sections, maybe maybe five or six. Uh, so it, it does have quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit, uh, of flexibility. So the, the idea here is, is we want to display products uh, that are the top money makers, the, the, the top things people would be looking for. Um, you could put them together in bundles or you could do whatever you want with this. Uh, the idea is when you enter this area, uh, this is how the image would look. This side and this side kind of represent the non-hovered state. Uh, and then as soon as you hover over, we're going to darken the image. Uh, we're going to slide the title up. We're going to add a description and then we're going to uh, add a call to action. Uh, so it's a, a, a not totally uh, uh, you know, 
uh, crazy animated or, or interacted, but it, it does have a little bit of interactive uh, 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 feeling with it when you hover over with your mouse. Below that, we get into your uh, uh, Y us section. Uh, this is the area where we uh, want to state the the things that uh, Dab and Depot could do for uh, their customers. Uh, uh, so we have a two title section here. We have a title, uh, text, bullet points, and a call to action, and then of course an image uh, accompanying that. And you'll see how this box kind of overlaps that. Here we also have this color detail. Uh, it looks like, uh, uh, typically we only have one color, but it looks like uh, Jacqueline added a second color because uh, these are the two brand colors, the yellow and the black. Uh, we move to the next section here. Uh, uh, here we have the uh, testimonial section. This is the featured testimonial area. Uh, uh, pretty sure you know how this works with us, but I'll just recap it again uh, just in case. Uh, uh, we call this the featured reviews or featured testimonial because uh, if say you have 20 testimonials in total and you know they're kind of mixed five and four stars uh, obviously you only want to show the five star reviews on your home page uh, so what you can do is set those to featured and they're added to a featured pool uh, uh, that allows uh, uh, our website to automatically kind of filter them and pull them into the home page so every time the page is refreshed uh, we have new testimonials randomly selected and it, it gets placed in the slider. And so here essentially we have five testimonials being displayed at a time and uh, uh, people can click through and every time they refresh it's a, a random testimonial there. That's also excellent for Google Analyt or Google SEO because uh, 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 Google loves fresh content. In this area it looks like it's constantly being updated. Uh, below that, we have a call to action for the testimonial area. Uh, people typically handle this one of two ways. They either say, uh, have an experience you'd like to, to share uh, with us. Uh, click here to leave one now or something. Uh, the, the second way to handle it is uh, you say, uh, our clients love us. Uh, read more testimonials. You know, something, <laughs> something along those lines. Uh, below that, we get into your foot contact block. This is the block that's going to be at the bottom of every single page in your site. Uh, here we have your phone number, email, contact blurb. The contact blurb is important. Uh, it sets the expectations for your customers. So say they're going to contact you, either call or email you. Uh, they have this question in the back of their head, uh, which is basically, when, when are you going to get back to me? So this is the, the place you can kind of set uh, that expectation for them. You can say our office hours are from this time to this time. We typically will reply within 48 hours, you know, something along those lines. Uh, here we have the connect with us uh, area. This area features a, a place for social media, and then it also has a contact now button. This contact now button is very special. When you click it, a modal actually drops down from the top of the screen, and it allows uh, us to have a very simple contact form or a very complex contact form. I am bringing this up because I'm not sure uh, if Dab and Depot needs this extra ability, but we can create uh, what's called conditional logic. Uh, so if a, a checkbox gets checked, uh, we can add more questions into that uh, contact form. Uh, if it's not checked, we're not going to ask it. And, and that's really handy for people who, who need to know more information just in case a customer is going down a certain route. Say they want to order something but Dab and Depot can only ship to anywhere within Nevada. So the first, <laughs> the first thing could be a checkbox that says, are you a resident of Nevada? Or are you 21 years of older? Or some, you know, something along those lines. And based on that, then, then you ask uh, the next question, which is, uh, what's your current address? You know, something, something like that uh, uh, in there. So, so that's how that modal will work. Um, here we have a space for an image. Uh, obviously, this is just lab equipment here again, uh, but it can be replaced. Uh, uh, typically, I like to see the, you know, either the storefront or it could be a photo of the warehouse or it could be all the staff in front of the warehouse or it could be, uh, you know, anything you want. So, so that's how that uh, area works. Below that, we get into your foot uh, logo and then your foot copyright information. All right, let's get on the next page. So you can click anywhere in the document to go to the next page. You can also uh, uh, click this home button uh, or these arrow buttons here at the bottom too. I also uh, forgot to mention this. You can go full screen by clicking that. And I actually recommend you kind of resize your browser 
until you have enough white space around the outside of everything here like that so uh, this is an example of a sub page uh, this is how how your sub pages will look uh, on the site so here you'll see uh, the navigation at the top you'll have uh, uh, the, the header here uh, right here you have this really cool area uh, uh, this this image area is a featured image area for all sub pages uh, so no matter if you're on the blog or on uh, the about us or or the contact page something like that uh, we can uh, set a default image that will display on all pages but if you want to override that image on a specific page uh, say on the about us you want a photo of all everybody uh, who's on staff or something like that and kind of put a staff photo up here you can absolutely do that and override this one page to have that one image uh, and that's exactly how this page cta works as well uh, it can be a default call to action for every single sub page but when you're on uh, so so the the issue then is if you're saying contact us here say that's an example of, of how people use this button uh, and it takes you to the contact page you obviously don't want this image or this button to be there at the top uh, for that so what you can do is point that button somewhere else and you could say go back to home page or or uh, check out our new products or something along those lines uh, below that we get into your uh, 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 information and then here we have an example of a, a photo right there uh, and then there's the foot copyright information so that's pretty much everything in the design there's one quick thing I want to cover uh, before we end uh, and that's that that last piece is how to add comments so up here at the top uh, we have this comment area here it's very powerful uh, what you can do is actually grab these pins and place it directly on what you're talking about uh, this clears up a lot of the fog that we've had in the past uh, with a lot of our, our customers uh, so this way you can grab uh, uh, this comment and actually just drop it directly on there so say this comment was you know something I don't want it to say call today I want it to say uh, you know call for a free quote or something like that uh, then you can drag that pin over and and we see it right there immediately so that's uh, how the comments work uh, what will happen is is the comments will get submitted I do get an email for every every comment that is submitted but uh, what I've learned is is we actually need to wait uh, and and wait for a email reply that says okay we're done leaving comments uh, now it's safe to go in and edit because uh, in the past uh, what's happened with me is I've, I've gone in and started editing uh, people's comments but really it was a team kind of communicating with each other and so it caused a lot of uh, confusion on, on everybody's part really uh, so we're just trying to avoid that so uh, you know the, the short story I guess is I'm gonna be waiting uh, to see a uh, reply to the email that says uh, we're finished with our comments um, uh, and and then that that'll be my cue to go in and update the uh, designs so uh, that's pretty much everything so uh, uh, I invite you to, to take your time but we want uh, to see uh, uh, you know some replies back within 48 hours uh, that way we can keep the project on track and, and moving forward in a timely manner. So uh, with that said, uh, please uh, reach out to me if, if you're having any problems or you're having any concerns or, or issues with the uh, uh, viewing of the comps. Um, other than that, uh, have a good rest of your day or weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.